Hi everyone, it's Sarah B. Welcome to my channel. Um, I am here today with my daughter trying something new um, in my desperate attempt to do something while she refuses to nap. So, um, today I'm opening my first goodie box from ThreadUp. I didn't realize this was a thing that ThreadUp did, um, but I'm super excited about it. It's um, They have different categories that you can choose from. Um, I got the Spring Essentials box. There's also, um, you can pick a whole bunch of favorites. And they will try to send you as many of your favorites as possible, um, so you can try them out. It's 10 bucks. Um, which gets credited towards whatever you decide to keep. Um, and I believe if you spend $75 or more in keeping whatever is in the box, then you get a $10 credit towards um, a, a future goodie box or other thread up purchase, which I think is pretty great. Um, it's all used clothing. Um, I'm very much in favor of recycling and using as much as possible. So, um, it's all good by me. Well, let's dig in. Let's see what we got. So, the, the box is huge. They send, I think, like 15 items, something like that. Um, whoa! This is the inside of the box. How cool! This is like an important packet of information. And yeah. you fill out a style Whoa! Thank you, B. You fill out a style quiz like with all the other boxes. Um, saying what you like and dislike, what you recommend, um, what you're looking for, what you're not. Here is the return postage for whatever you choose not to keep. Hey. So in the little bag of goodies, no pun intended, um, there's a little note that says, hey there, thanks so much for being one of our earliest customers for Thread Up Goodie Boxes. It's something whoa, we've wanted to do for whoa, years. Whoa. Um, Mama. They're sending 10 to 15 secondhand items from brands you love at super low prices. You think of us first when it comes to a new dress, a trendy pair of boots, and everything in between. Um, and talking about their mission of Thread Up just generally in... Um, and reducing waste and um, and all of that is good stuff. They also sent me a pin. I wear used clothes. I love that. Uh up. You gonna you gonna hold that? And uh up up up. Uh, I'll open that later. And um, a little book about the company itself. Well, the price list. And then first glance, nothing in here is more than twenty five dollars. So, yay. All right. Thank you, Va. All right, should we see what we got? I'm seeing some colors that I'm not convinced about, but I need to introduce more color into my wardrobe. So I'm going to try everything on, unless they're like a ridiculous pair of plaid pants with zippers that go to nowhere. <laughs> Oh. The first item. Huh? Oh, it's a LuLaRoe shirt. What? I have mixed feelings about LuLaRoe, but um, their stuff is super soft. It's a gray crew neck shirt. I should probably know the name of this one. I don't. Uh, okay. A gray LuLaRoe <laughs> shirt. <laughs> the second item is Vince Camuto. <gasps> This is probably not a good setup because it's too much bouncing on the bed, but is that pretty? Yeah. Very pink. I don't know if I wear pink. Not that I have anything against pink. I just don't know if I can wear it. I'm very pink already. You gonna show off? Okay. Should we see what's next? Yeah. Another pink thing. Let's see. Let's open it up. Let's look. This is actually really beautiful though. It's from Lauren Conrad. <laughs> Pink and sparkly. <laughs> Should we keep looking? Yeah. Yes. From Westport. Whoa. 1962. I don't know what that is. <gasps> it's a white 
flowy skirt. Is that pretty? Do you like that bee? No, no. No. I'm not keeping track of how many things are in here. Another black jersey skirt. B, you're not a terribly good helper for this. Um, and Taylor Loft. That is awesome. What else do we see? This is weird. I mean, it's fine. It's a, it's an, it's an LL Bean dress. Um. What? It's fine. Do you like this dress? Yes. Yes, B likes it. I'm gonna try it on. I promise I'll try on everything as long as it has not. And this is from this is new with tags on New York collection. Oh, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. B is that beautiful? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has really nice ruching, like a, a crossover and ruching. <laughs> Might be a little snug for me, but we'll see. We also have from the Gap a long sleeve dark purple shirt, which is always good. I just feel like this box is never ending. I think this is the last piece. I should say that. New with tags on from Kanai. Yeah, you threw it on the floor. Look at how beautiful this black lace dress is. I'm not sure about the length. The length of this thing. But we're gonna get rid of this child and try some of this stuff on and see where it lands. Oh my gosh. Yes. Uh, so this is the, the I'm gonna use my cheat sheet. <laughs> Because there's so much in this box. Um, I counted, they, they sent me 10 pieces. It just felt like the box was never ending. This is the Women's Hanai Casual Dress, which retails for $36. Is new with tags, and they're asking $17 for it. And it's so nice. It's a little bit, it's like the shortest I would ever wear a dress. Um, but it hits the cutoff, and so I'm going to... I guess I think I'm gonna keep it. Um, our floor is really squeaky, I'm sorry. It kind of reminds me of the teal dress that I kept from Stitch Fix. It's like the same style with the lace overlay, um, but super comfy and I'm really down with it. Yay, okay, keep digging. So this is another dress that has the, the wrap front, dark blue one. Um, New York collection, I think that's what this is, casual dress, retails for $70, again, new with tags on, and they're asking $18 for it. Really comfy, could wear to work, business functions, and it'll look much better when I have some shade wear underneath it. Let's look at some more. <laughs> now I know these don't exactly <laughs> go together, but for the sake of time, um, I'm trying on the Ann Taylor Loft skirt, casual skirt, which retails for 60 and they're asking nine bucks for. Super soft circle skirt. It's just jersey, but um, it's exactly the right length. It hits me right below my knee. Um, and shape that I was looking for for summer anyway. Um, perfect for maxi skirts are hard to chase kids at the playground with. <laughs> this is much easier. Um, and then the top, I'm going to get this one wrong. Oh, it, I think it's the Camuto sleeveless blouse. Yes, the Vince Camuto sleeveless blouse, which retails for $71, and they're asking $23 for it. I don't usually wear pink. I think I might be able to pull this off. It's a little shapeless from what I usually wear, but in that way it's also really forgiving. I don't know. Lauren, you have to tell me if I can pull this off because that would be super duper. <laughs> um, but there's still more to try on. So I'm going to keep going back in. Going back in.
so this is one of the downsides of thread up because it is all um, recycled clothes, used clothes. You can't exchange for sizes usually. <laughs> um, I actually really like this. It's um, it's interesting. It has the stripes and like a little bit of shimmery silver running through it. Um, you definitely have to wear a camisole under it, but that's not a problem. But it's just too small. Um, it doesn't quite fit across my back. My arms are too big for these sweet buttons. Um, it's just not comfortable. Um, but I feel like the next size up would fit me perfectly. <sighs> but that is not an option right now. Um, womp womp. But it was fun to try it on and dream. Now let's try it on some more. Yeah, so the pink three-quarter sleeve top. Wait a minute. Where is it? Oh, it retails for 40. They were asking 24 for it. Um, this is the Gap long sleeve shirt, which they said retails for 40, but it has tags on and it's only listed at 30. I know, B. I know. Um, but they're asking 18 for it. I think 18 for a t shirt, even from the Gap, a little much. I mean, it's just a t shirt, it's not particularly soft or lovely or anything, but um, it's nice. Whatever. All right, uh, I'm gonna try on one more piece and then we're gonna talk about the rest. And this is the Lulu Row shirt, um, which retails for 24 and they're asking 17 for. Um, I mean, it's super soft and we all have read, I'm sure, about why Lulu Row clothes are super soft because they like chemically treat the material to make them that way, which you have, we all can have varying opinions on as to that. But, um, Softer than the Gap shirt. Again, I don't know about spending $18 for it. Uh, the last three, four items I'm actually not going to try on for you because I tried them on for me and um, they're not really camera ready. Um, the first is this white skirt, which I actually really love. And would love to keep, but it does not fit, and it is shocking. <laughs> um, so, I'm not gonna put that on YouTube for you. Really sorry. Um, the second piece is the Elo Bean dress, which is not me and is also a bit like sausage casing. So, that's going back as well. Um, and then the third piece, which I didn't. I didn't even try on. I my daughter pulled it out of the box and threw it over the side of the bed, so I only just saw it. Um, it's a very, I mean, it's, it's from Premise. It's an extra large T-shirt. It looks very roomy. It's really heavy, um, and then I'm just not in the market for anything like this. It's it's like almost a sweatshirt. Um, and we're headed into spring, and I don't want to be wearing sweatshirty type clothes anymore. This box, by the way, was called Spring Essentials. And I think they mostly hit the mark. Um, I mean, there's some dark colors, but I wear dark colors, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, all right, I'm gonna put my clothes back on and then we'll have a heart to heart about my first goodie box. I think we have some nice things to say. Back in a gif. So my impressions of my first goodie box are I really liked it. I liked that there was a ton of stuff in there, that nothing was over $30. Um, there's a wide range of different things. And when you're dealing with so many different brand names, knowing sizes and like all of that is really hit or miss. So I don't hold that against them at all. Um, I think I'm keeping the two dresses. Again, both new with tags, and they're both like 20 bucks and retail for considerably more. Um, and I'm definitely keeping the skirt because I love the skirt. I'm going to live in it this summer. And Lauren, you have to tell me if I can pull this off. Or anybody, anybody tell me. I'm not a pink person. Can I do this? I'm really red in the face, which is why I avoid the pink. Um... 
but it's nice and it's comfy and flowy. Anyway, if I keep these four items, uh, if I did my math right, it would be about $68 minus the $10 um, for um, the initial deposit, they call it, because shipping is free. It's just a deposit. Um, so 60 bucks for all of this? Not bad. If I decide to keep one more thing, then I would get a $10 credit for next time. But I don't think I want anything else that badly. That, or I do, but it just doesn't fit me, so there's no point. In any case, I'll put some information in the comments description something down there <laughs> and let you know more information about goodie boxes. They um, can expect to see more of them on my channel because this was big fun and I hope you enjoyed it too. And thanks for being so pleasant about putting up with Bye. my daughter. That's right, B. Can you say goodbye? Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> Until next time, be well. Oh, my goodness, it's going to work. Yeah. Uh-oh. 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 I'm thinking that might have been a bad decision.